Tonight, President Obama will address a joint session of Congress and all of America in his annual State of the Union address. So what will be his main points and what will he avoid? KTRH talk show host Michael Barry joins us to talk about tonight's speech, which you can hear, by the way, live right here on KTRH. Michael, what will be the biggest point the president will try to drive home tonight? You're going to hear him say jobs so many times that if we could create a job for every time he mentions it, we could reduce our unemployment and cut it in half. He's going to talk about jobs, jobs, and more jobs. And when he's through with that, he's going to talk about civility because his polling tells him those are the top two issues for Democrats and moderates right now. What does he need to avoid? I think he avoids uh, Obamacare because uh, the polling tells him that the American public doesn't like it. I think he'll avoid the stimulus. He'll avoid looking to his successes because he doesn't have any. So what president will we see tonight, the one who almost seemed like a bully pushing Obamacare, or the more reverent president like we saw last week during the Arizona Memorial Service? You're going to see Barack Obama the candidate, not Barack Obama the governor, because he's much more popular when he's talking about hope and change and amorphous topics and not getting into policy specifics. So I think you're going to see him reading from the teleprompter the way he did in 08 and getting back to broader stroke themes for college students and minorities. That's his base. What does he need to do to try to win over the American public and boost his poll numbers? He's already started boosting his popularity back. He did that with the Tucson speech. He has to get to themes that are uniting and not dividing, as silly or trite as that is. He has to stay away from policy issues, and he has to uh, embrace the opposition, and the everyday American, which, frankly, he spent two years alienating. So what's the one topic he needs to stay away from more than anything else tonight? I think the elephant in the room is going to be Obamacare, and I think he's going to have to steer clear of it. If he does talk about it, he has to paint the opposition as bad people. He can't argue on the basis of policy. It's a policy loser for him. Michael, what about this movement by Republicans and Democrats to sit together during tonight's speech? Ironically, the president who has been the most divisive in the modern era is now calling for us to get along. The guy who said Republicans can't have the key, they have to get in the back, they've been bad boys. Those sorts of references, terrible references coming from the mouth of a president, is now calling on all of us to put that aside and be American. We were American before. I think that this is a loser for Republicans. We don't want to see the professional class back up there cutting inside deals. We want to see the people we sent there from the Tea Parties and average everyday Americans doing what we told them to do. And sometimes that's going to make the Democrats angry. And finally, Michael, do you see tonight's speech, the beginning of his 2012 re-election campaign? No, his re-election campaign began in Tucson, and I think this is a continuation of that. And the themes that worked there, look, we're watching his poll numbers go up. When he acts presidential, a lot of people in the middle will give him the benefit of the doubt. Thanks so much. KTRH talk show host Michael Berry. And remember, you can listen to the State of the Union address this evening right here on KTRH. We are carrying full Fox News coverage for you. In addition to President Obama's remarks, KTRH will also air and stream the response by the GOP and Tea Party.